What's up interweb, Scott here, and today we're gonna do another tech review. I'm gonna show you how to upgrade the lighting in your videos from this to this for under $200. As more people are locking themselves into their homes and content providers are increasing at an alarming rate, do-it-yourselfers and at-home creators are now as common and easy to find as bankers. But even though making your own videos can be fun and easy, there are some things to think about. The camera you use can be anything from a professional setup to your phone. And the microphone is important. I recommend that you put some thought into that. Don't use the one in your video device. Mm. But one thing people don't think about too much is lighting. You can get away with just using the natural lighting in the room, but that doesn't always work. Here are regular fluorescent lights here in the workshop. Although they are good for building, not so much for doing videos. So with that in mind, I'm unboxing with you the GVM by color LED studio light kit. GVM or great video maker offers this kit through dealers for under $200. And I just got mine in the mail today. Out of the box, I have what is a fairly nice carrying case for these lights. Not too big, made a canvas-like material, should be durable for most travel. It looks like everything you need is right here in the case. A stand for each light, which has their own bags. This box, which has the power adapters. And under this panel here are two lights, each with its own bag. The bags are nice, but if you plan on keeping this kit together and using it in different locations, you're probably gonna leave the bags at home and pack the lights and stands just in the case, which now I'm seeing isn't really that padded. Although LEDs tend to be more resilient, you don't wanna be throwing this kit around or piling stuff on top of it when packing. The stands appear to be medium grade. Definitely not professional quality, but not as flimsy as an Amazon special. Be careful where you set these up as the slightest bump will be all it takes to knock these over. The short stands are great for travel, but they don't get very tall. The highest you're gonna get these lights is about six foot. Don't expect to go overhead with these, unless you're dealing with a shorter talent like me. That's my secret. I'm standing on a ladder right now. You just don't see it. The light is adjustable in both brightness and color. I like the digital readout that goes from 10 to 99 but it's a bit excessive as the difference between dim and bright on this light isn't as dramatic as some more expensive lights. For this price, this panel throws some decent light, but keep it to small rooms. This does not have the power to light a big room or outdoors. As for color temperature, the readout shows the light adjusting from 2300 to 6800 Kelvin, but I doubt it's truly accurate as there's a huge jump in both color and brightness between 23 to 29 and then a gradual change until another huge jump between 67 to 68. Does the light change color? Yes. Are you setting the mood in your next Highwood blockbuster? Probably not. Another useful feature of this panel is a battery option. They aren't included, but two NPF battery plates can power this light when electricity is not available. Handy, but as I don't expect to be using this light outdoors, I don't expect to be using this option. Even though the built-in barn doors are a nice feature, the build hits a major snag if you want to tilt the light down. Fortunately, there is a quick fix for that as the bracket does have a horizontal option. Even with some of the criticism I've had in this video, I still think these lights are a good buy. A cheap solution to up your game. To be fair, I did add to the setup and I'm not using these lights as they came out of the box. As I film this, both lights are on heavier stands, and I added diffusion to them for additional softening. But these lights are lighting me right now. The rest of the room, well, that's another story. If you want to know more or you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. And as always, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.